a very good day to all of you. In the previous class, you learned about the format Mino. Let us now revise what we learned in that class. Can you tell how many types of page orientation are there? Orientation is of two types, portrait and landscape. Can you say why we use drop caps? Using drop caps, you can make the first character or word of your text or paragraph capital or and bold. Can you tell why we use blinking? By using the blinking option, you can make your selected text blink, which means that the text will appear and disappear repeatedly. Now, all of you power on your computer using any of the methods taught to you, open the writer file. Let us now know what all we are going to learn in today's class. In this class, you will learn about the options of the format menu. These include what is change case, what is a table, how to insert a table, what are rows and columns? How are rows and columns inserted? How to delete tables? What is merge cell? What is split cell? Why is auto split used? Let us begin with today's class. Type the paragraph shown in front of you. Next, you will learn about the change case option of the format menu. With the use of change case, you can change the case of your written text or paragraph, which means that your text case can be changed to appear in all capitals or all small in the sentences. Let us now learn about the lower case. Can you tell what happens with lower case? We can use the lower case option to change the text of our line or paragraph to small letters. Let us watch the video and learn about the usage of lower case. With the help of this video, let us learn how we apply lower case to our paragraph or text. So, to apply lower case, first of all, we need to select the paragraph. So, select the paragraph as is being shown in the video to you. And then, bring your pointer to the format option of the Mino bar. And left click on that. Now, from the box which opens, look for change case option. Come here. And you can see various options. So, the second option here is the lower case option. Click on that and you will find that your text gets changed to lower case. Let us now learn about the sentence case. Can you tell what is sentence case? In sentence case, the first letter is in capitals and in the writer page, Sentence case is pre-selected. Watch the video and practice sentence case. We will watch this video to practice the use of sentence case. To apply sentence case on the paragraph, you need to select the paragraph. So, go ahead and select that paragraph as is being shown in the video. Now, bring your pointer to the format option of the menu bar and there click on change case option. Once you bring your pointer to change case, you will see four options opening up, more options opening up and the very first option right in front is sentence case. Click on that and you will see that your paragraph changes into sentence case which means the first word or alphabet of the sentence gets into capital. The next option is of uppercase. Can you tell 
what happens with uppercase? With uppercase, you can change all the letters of the line or paragraph to uppercase, which means that they will all appear in capital letters. Let us now watch the video to learn about the usage of uppercase. With this video, we will learn the use of uppercase or to capitalize all text in the paragraph. For this, you need to first select the paragraph as is being shown in the video. After selecting the paragraph, take your pointer to the format option of the menu bar, click there and then bring the cursor on the change case option. You will see another box opening with other options here. Click on uppercase option and all your text in the paragraph changes to uppercase or becomes in capital letters. So this is how you use the uppercase option. Next option is about capitalizing every word. Can you tell what happens with the use of capitalizing every word? By the use of this option, you can change the first letter of all words of a line or paragraph to capitals. Let us watch the video and learn how to use the option of capitalizing every word. This video helps us to understand how we can use capitalize case option. To use the capitalize case option, we first need to select the paragraph on which we want to apply this. So, we select the paragraph as is being shown in the video. Then bring your pointer to the format option of the Mino bar and left click on that. Then choose the change case option. And once you click there, you see four options or five options actually. And you can take your cursor or pointer to capitalize every word. Click on that, left click on that and you will notice that the paragraph that you had selected, the first letter of each word gets capitalized. This is how you use capitalize case option. Next comes the option of toggle case. Can you tell why we use the toggle case option? With the use of toggle case, you can change the first letters of the line or paragraph to small letters. Let us watch the video and learn more about the usage of toggle case. In this video, we will learn to use the toggle case. To use the toggle case, first select the paragraph that you want to use or apply the toggle case to. This is being shown in the video also. We have selected the paragraph and then we take the pointer to the format option of the menu bar and left click on that and then come to the change case option. We see other options in our separate box. Now, look for the toggle case option and click on that and you will see that all the alphabets which were small change to capital and all the capital letters change to small. This is how toggle case is used. You were working on paragraph. Now we will learn to work on a table. For that you need to come out of the paragraph. For that Take your cursor after the last word of the paragraph, then press enter two, three times and you will be at the desired position. Let us start learning about the table. Do you know what is a table and why do we use it? A table consists of rows and columns. This appears like your maths notebook and has many boxes or cells. These cells are used for many purposes like for making lists, for office work, for report cards, for calendars, for students mark or their other details etc. 
you might be wondering what are rows and columns. Look at the picture in front of you. Here you are shown horizontal rows and vertical columns. So in this picture, the boxes which go from left to right are called the rows and these are horizontal. And the boxes which go from up to down are the columns and these are called vertical. Let us learn how to insert tables. A table can be opened in four ways. In the first method, you will use the table option of the insert menu. In the second method, you will use the insert option of the table menu. Thirdly, you can use the shortcut command for doing this. You will use the shortcut command control plus F12. And the fourth method is by using standard toolbar and this method you will learn in the advanced module. Let us watch the video and learn more about all the three methods. This video helps us to understand how we can use the table option and open a table and how we can make use of the table to keep records. So for this, we are first going to learn the stepwise method in which we need to take our pointer to the table option of the Mino bar. We are going to show this to you in the video. Take your pointer to the table option in the Mino bar and left click on that. From the box which opens, click on the insert option and then again from the box which opens, click on table option. Now a box opens up which gives you the various options for the table that you want to insert. You can see there are options for columns and rows. Since a table is made of columns and rows, you need to decide how many columns you want to keep and how many rows you want to keep in your table. By clicking on the up arrow in the columns option, you can increase the number of columns. If you want to decrease it, you will click on the down arrow. So like this, let's keep the number of columns to be 5. Then in the rows, again, let's increase the number of rows to 5. And then we go and click on OK button. And we see that a table opens up or gets inserted on our writer page. You can use the table for keeping records of students or many other such purposes like for office use. Now, all of you see the picture in front of you and make a similar table. You can use the arrow keys to go from one box to the left, right, down or up. Let us watch the video. For now, let's use this for keeping records. So in the first row, we are typing the titles. We type in the first box name. And then to come to the next box, we can use the tab key or the right arrow key. So in the second box, we have titled roll number. In the third box, we are going to type uh, the subject names. For instance, we can type Hindi. And in the next box, by taking the cursor by tab or right arrow, we type English. And in the last box, we type computer. So now we need to type in the names and the marks for each of these subjects. So to bring the cursor to the box below the name to type in the first name, bring your pointer there and left click on it. So you will see your cursor there. Let's type the first name. We have typed Golu, 
then to go to the next name box we click on the down arrow and we type dharam we type bharat and in the last column or last box we type noor now we go to the roll number boxes use the arrow keys to move towards the right and uh, move to below the roll number type in the roll number 1 for the student named golu next student we type in 2 so we just use the down arrow and keep moving type 4 then for hindi we have to type the mark so we again bring our pointer here and click left click on that or we can use the arrow keys to come here then type the hindi marks like this 65 use the down arrow to go to the next student 68 for the next student again we are using down arrow 62 65 for noor then for english marks we go to the box below the title english and for golu we are typing the marks here like 56 then we use down arrow type for dharam 69 next we type 59 and in the last box for english marks for noor we type 49 now we are giving computer marks so again we use the arrow keys and bring a cursor here or you can use the mouse or touchpad and bring the pointer here and left click on it so we have typed 72 75 76 and for noor's case 71 so this is how we can insert a table on our writer page and use it can you tell how you can insert a row to insert a row first we need to bring our cursor to a row just above the place where we need to insert the row in the table and click once with the left button next you will need to go to the insert option of the table menu and click once on row option a box appears using this you can insert the row you need let us watch the video and learn more about inserting rows this video will teach us how we can insert a new row in our table on the writer page to insert a row we should be aware of where the cursor is in the table because we will be inserting the row either after the cursor position or before the cursor position so to insert a row take the pointer to the table menu as is being shown in the video here click on that left click then left click on the insert option and from the box which opens click on rows since we have to insert rows a box opens here you can define the number of rows that you want to insert so there is an option for number and there is an option for the position of where you want to insert the row so if you want to insert more rows you have to click on this up arrow if you want to decrease the rows you click on the down arrow and the position defines where you are going to insert the row uh, relative to where the cursor was in the table so since we have to insert the row after the position where the cursor is we will let it be selected as after and then we will click on okay so we take the pointer to the okay button and click here and you will see a new row gets inserted now you have to bring the pointer to the first uh, box of this new row to type a new name so bring the pointer there 
click with the left button and then you can type the name. Then you can use the arrow keys to go to roll number. Type the roll number. Use the arrow key to go to the marks columns, marks boxes and then add the marks also. So this is how you can insert a new row in a table. Can you tell how you will insert columns? You can insert columns also in a similar manner as we learned for inserting rows. Let us watch the video and learn more. This video tells us how we can insert a column in an existing table on our writer page. Again, before we insert, we should be aware of where the pointer is or the cursor is in the table. So, once you have noticed where the cursor is, take your pointer to the table option of the insert of the menu bar tables insert and then columns here you see options for how many number of columns you want to insert and the position that you want to insert in with the up arrow you can increase the number of columns and by clicking on the down arrow you can decrease the number of columns so if you want to insert one column and then we come to position, we can say before the position of the cursor on our table or after the position of the cursor on our table. So since we want to insert it after the position of our cursor in the table, we will let the after option be selected and then we can go and click on the OK button as is being shown in the video. Once you click there, you will see that another column gets added to your table. Now you can type in another subject marks in this column if you like. Let us now learn about the delete sub menu. By using delete, you can delete table, row or column. Let us now look at the video and learn how delete is used. With this video, we will learn how we can delete rows or columns or even the entire table from a writer sheet. So, uh, to delete a row or a column, we must first place the cursor at the position that we want to delete. So, if we want to delete a row, we will place our cursor in that row and then take our pointer to the table option here, click on that and then click on the delete option and from here you can click on rows. So you will see where the cursor was that row gets deleted as is being shown in the video to you, the last row has got deleted. If you want to delete the column, Again, we must keep the cursor in that column which we want to delete and then take the pointer to the table option of the menu bar, click on that, left click, then left click on delete and from the options click on column. So you will see that the last column where the cursor was has got deleted. You can also use the same to delete the entire table. Next, you will learn about the select option. Using select, you can select the whole table, row or column. Let us learn about using select by watching the video. Let us see how we can use the select sub menu to select a row, column, a cell or the whole table. So, to do this, we must place our cursor within the table, then take our pointer to the table option of the menu bar, left click on that and then click on the select option and from the options which are available, click on table. So, you will see that the whole table gets selected by doing this. Now, if we were 
wanting to select just one row, then we must make sure that our cursor lies in that row or one of the cells of that row. Then take your pointer to table option, click on that and from select, select the rows option and you will find that that particular row gets selected. Similarly, if you want to select a column, a particular column from the table, make sure that your cursor is lying within one of the cells of that particular column. Then take your pointer to the table option, click there, click on select and then click on columns option. You will see that this column that you had placed the cursor in gets selected. Now, if you want to select one particular cell only, place the cursor in that cell, take your pointer to table option, select and then click on cell and you will see that the cell gets selected. So, this is how you can use the select submenu of the table option. Let us now learn about the merge cell. Do you know what is a merge cell? Merge means to add or to make one. Merge cell is used to merge two or more cells into one. Let us watch the video and learn more about the usage of merge cell. Let us watch this video and learn how we can merge two cells in our table. To merge the cells, we need to know which two cells we want to merge. So, keep the cursor on in one of the cells as is being shown here. Let's say we want to merge the Hindi and English title cells. So, we will keep the cursor in the Hindi box and then by keeping the left button of our mouse or touchpad pressed, we will drag it so that Hindi and English both the cells get selected. So by doing this, we are selecting both the Hindi and English cells. Now we can go to the table option of the menu bar, click there, left click and then click on the merge cell option. You will see that the Hindi and English cell have merged together and have become one. This is how you use merge cell. Let us now learn about the usage of split cell. Do you know what is meant by split? Split means to separate or to make parts from one unit. Using split cell, you can split one cell into more than one cell, which means you can separate one cell into many parts. You can split a cell horizontally or vertically. Learn more about the usage of split cell by watching the video being shown. With the help of this video, let us learn how we can use the split cell submenu of the table option. So, to split the cell, we first have to decide which cell we want to split. Supposing we want to split the computer cell where computer title is written into two parts, we should take our cursor to the computer cell and click on it. After doing this, we go to the table option of the menu bar and click there, left click on that and then from here click on the split cell option. A box opens and you see two options here, split, split the cell into how many parts is one and the direction that you want to split in. Do you want to split horizontally or vertically? So, split cell into parts, how many parts will decide how many parts you want to split the cell into. So, if you click on the up arrow, 
you can split the cell into two parts, three parts, four parts, five parts, and so on. And if you click on the down arrow, you can decrease this number. Since we want to split into two parts, we will keep this as two split cell into two. And then we decide the direction. Do we want to split the cell horizontally or vertically? So accordingly, we have to decide. Let us uh, take it that we want to split the cell vertically. So we will select vertically option, click on that and then go and click on the OK button. So once we do that, you will see that your computer title cell has been split into two parts. Let us now learn about auto format. Auto format is an option which has many different designs or formats for tables. Simply by applying the desired format, you can design a table of that format. How the auto format option is used can be learned by watching the video being shown. In this video, let us learn how we can apply auto format to our table. Since auto format gives us many options, pre-existing options, it is easy. First, let the cursor be in the table. Then take the pointer to the table option in the menu bar, click on that and then click on the auto format option. You will see a box opens and in this there are many formats. So you can scroll up or down and select the one which you like. You can click on these options and see how the table would appear if you use this. And then you can click on the one which you like and then we will be pressing the OK button. So once that is done, the format that you have selected gets applied to the table as is being shown in the video. So this is how you will use auto format for your tables. We will be finishing this class now. All of you should now close the writer file and properly shut down your computer. In today's class, you have learned about changing case. You have also learned about what is table insert, row and column insert. Then you learned about deleting table, row or column and about selecting table, row or column. You also learned about merge cell and split cell. And in the end, you also learned about designing tables using auto format. Thank you.